Hey everybody, uh, we're doing a little studio talk today, um, and uh, we, had, we had some sunshine there a few minutes ago. Uh, I was hoping to, to be able to show you some uh, artwork with a little bit of sunshine going on here, but this is kind of what we got going on here. So, uh, let me look at my silk painting for a second. Ah, assuming ink on silk, you know. Uh, yeah. It just don't get any better than that. Okay, um, so I've been working out of this book. It's Authentic Indian Designs by Dover Press. And and it has like all kinds of these designs that anthropologists have, have like uh, done their research in, in the field back in the you know, 1880s or 1920 or something. So, uh, uh, just a whole bunch of designs that the anthropologists picked up. It's like some of these are kind of like really bad photographs. Some of them are like hand drawn stuff that some artists did. So this is a design right here. That this piece is coming from and uh, this camera don't much like the zoom when you shoot video but anyway I was hoping for more sunshine yesterday would have been a better day to shoot this when it was so nice and sunny but I just wasn't ready for it man it's like so, anyway, we'll see some photographs at some other point, but today I'm just talking about, okay, this is the process by which we are working, and, uh, how are we doing here? Yeah, 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 so, there's a, oh, look, there's a little sunshine. I don't know if you can get in there. It's like lots of that shoddy stuff happening. We like crows over here. We like crows. We like we like shiny stuff, you know. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. The sight shiny stuff. All right, the sun's gone already. This is a, a pottery design from you know, some Cherokee stuff. I don't know. A little bit of sunshine again. So. Another nice pottery design. So I'll show you a couple of different shots here in a minute. But we, uh, you know, what I'm doing is is uh, I I get the design. Um, I photographed the design out of the book and print it out and then I uh, right now I'm doing oil pastel here and uh, yeah, just 
can't do a whole lot with this camera like this, you know, it, it just don't like videos that much. So, so I, I do, I mark it out with, with a little pastel. And then I'll do a, uh, a, uh, There's the photograph of the design. It's got, you know, I have to magnify it. I'll show you in a second. And then I'll do the the design in the little pastel. And then I'll do a, a session. It's like outside. Lovely weather today. Outside I'll do a session of watercolor. And then the next day I'll do a, another session of watercolor and then I go back in and rework the lines and so forth. It's like, this is, this is all pastel. So I'll pencil in the, the, the lines and then I'll go over it with oil pastel because it's a little easier to work with pencil. And... Uh, So this is the finished work here. You know, there's bear paw. I really like bear paw, man. It's like some nice textures that come through right there. All right, right. So that's the finished work. So let's shoot a few shots of how we got here. All right. So here's our. American designs we go through and and uh, I really like this design. This is a uh, serpent. This is it's like this is a really bad photograph of a mussel shell gorget. So this design would have been. So, carved in the muscle shell so what I do is uh, I have this macro lens that, that Maggie gave me I'm using this right now um, and uh, So this image is a little bit big for for the macro lens, but you get detail because some of these are just like too Too far. Too, okay, let me close that up. So once we got it on the on the telephone, we come over here to the other side of the room, and where I've already gotten a whole group of photographs on the computer. And uh, this is a nice, lovely screen here. So I pick one out, and then we proceed to print it out with our handy little printer. I don't recommend this one for this particular model of printer for 
This kind of work because it's mostly intended for printing out photographs. So there we go. We got our design printed out. Yeehaw, sitting here waiting on the printer. Welcome to the office. All right, here we go. So, next we come over here where it's a mess. And uh, turn on some lights and clean up the mess. Mm -hmm. Take five. All right, we went ahead and pencil got some watercolor paper here. Pencil this all in. Is there a design we just printed out? And uh, so we penciled in. Just kind of close. Well. I'll lift that section out right there, man. So it's it's like, you know, sometimes I'm working on these guys and it's like, they get really complicated. And, uh, so and it's, it's not gonna be real easy to like, go over these lines with uh oil pastel and hold the camera and hold the piece of paper at the same time so this ain't exactly how i usually work but you get the idea what happens is that uh, once you put the oil pastel down and i'm working pretty sloppy here y'all i'm telling you it's like kind of a sloppy process uh Oil pastel is sloppy, watercolor is going to get a little sloppy, and these designs have, have some very exact, like, <laughs> but they're getting translated over to being just sloppy, so get used to it. Sometimes I'll make a mistake and I'll erase it out. It's like, I was drawing the pencil stuff, you know, it's like, uh, anyway, um, I race that out. Sometimes I just leave it, you know, I make a mistake and I just leave it because it's like the watercolors, more old pastel, it's all going to get covered up. Okay, next we go outside and uh, paint out there. All right. Because you see, we just had a band of rain blow through here a minute ago, and uh, so here's, here's my printout. And uh, so I got pencil lines and then old pastel, and uh. <coughs> Throw this back in here because wind's gonna blow it across the yard any second now. We're probably gonna have a little problem hanging on to our watercolor paper, so so that's all right. Here's my uh, paint pots, which is uh, egg cartons that uh, we're re reusing here, so. That's one of the things I like to do. Uh, my lifestyle is, is to try and uh, reuse stuff that most people just throw away because uh, we like the earth. So, and uh, what you like? Brush. 
and uh, I was talking about getting a little sloppy. That's one of the things that I'm going through. Uh, over, I'm, this would be like 91 out of the 100 watercolor paper. And uh, so I started out like doing some pretty tight kind of stuff, and then I started getting a little sloppy. Just not that anal retentive, folks. So you can see how the the uh, beeswax is all pastels got beeswax in it. If I didn't mention that already, and the beeswax uh, resist water. So we're gonna work on this some more without having to hold the phone. And uh, I'll be right back in a minute. Right here's here's where we went to get kind of runny in there. Some good splashes in. I switched over this, this brush right here. So I can, I can see there. Yeah, nice brush. Oh, that spot right there. So that's what the first session looks like. Still wet. All right, this is a muscle shell gorgia I photographed and printed out, and. Uh, they put it in the category of the <laughs> rattlesnake design, but I think it's actually uh, uh, Unica, the winged serpent. And it's a, uh, they got these dots here, these points, and that's, that's like a medicine wheel. So, and a medicine wheel is about balance. And, and uh, I, th I think a lot of the, the teachings are around uh balance and so forth so i usually don't document my uh my second painting i do i start two one day and uh if i've started two the previous day i i, I work on those uh You know, so, so I start two, and, and I do a second session on two. So uh, we get, we get like four paintings worked on each day in this process. So the reason I'm showing this is, is uh, um, I got, uh charcoal instead of oil pastel so uh i thought i'd show the how the how the charcoal works and uh after i've done the two sessions uh then i'll, I'll come back in and, and work over the charcoal with some uh pastel and conte crayon so, uh, anyway, I'm going to put the camera down and work a little bit. We'll be right back. Crow's been over there talking. As soon as you turn the camera on, they, they shut up on you. You know what I'm saying? There he is. That was right up there. There's a crow up there in that tree watching me right now. Here's, here's what happened. Did some fill-ins. And then some nice splashes, so it gets kind of runny. The cardboard's all beat up. I'll be throwing it away after I get done with this hundred. The crows up there chattering at me. The sun's about to break through for a second. The crow is gone. <laughs> we got a good mess going on here. 
This is my second session. I really love doing. I call it dry brush. I don't know why they call it dry brush. I always complain about that. But anyway, to do layers of watercolor, I kind of end up with a real mess. So if you get like some overlays on on the, the pastel. You can take the knife and I got this little rounded, you know, the, the edge is rounded, front edge, front end, so I, I, I go in and scrape the paint off because with the waxy stuff underneath it, it'll like just clean right off. But uh, then I go over the, the uh, pastel multiple multiple different colors and bring it out so it, it shows up better because it looks like a mess right now it is a mess right now but you know this is part of the process hey <clears throat> all right all right it's uh, it's later that same evening and uh gonna work on the uh little pastel part of part of uh, this process, uh, it's the last process of, of doing a, a mixed media painting. And uh, so I do this work on, on the inside, um, which is a good thing because uh, it's raining outside, uh, it's nighttime and uh, it's winter, so it's nice and warm in here. This is the studio uh, apartment as it is. And, and that's Sophie, glad to be inside. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, and this is my work table, uh, which is uh, either a cardboard boxes, a couple of cardboard boxes that some canvases came in and and uh, they're empty and then this uh, nice large box uh, was what the uh, shelving in my uh, shelves here came in uh, some assemblage required and this is a a, a glass plate here thank you focus uh, I found this guy outside uh, out by the street somebody thrown away so so I rescued it because uh, it's, it's nice uh, when I'm doing the oil pastel or the pastel any drawing it's like the cardboard underneath if, if I'm working on the cardboard it puts ripples in my in, in what I'm doing and so uh, you know it's just the, the realities of being uh, an old man artist that uh, has has managed to survive in this world without getting recognized for my work uh, which is which is like a you know one of those topics of of like you know, to, to be of Cherokee descent and, you know, Native American and the racism in this country. Uh, you know, God forbid that a Cherokee from Upper East Tennessee uh, here in Southern Appalachia be uh, doing any art of, of recognition or merit. You know, people act like I should be giving my art away instead of uh, thinking of make, making a living. Like, how, how dare you request that you you be treated like a, you know, a white artist from, you know, anywhere else in this country, and uh, so uh, that's you know how life is. That's my reality, and so uh, I've chosen to keep on doing art anyway, and uh, so and uh, I have. Uh, well, this piece of pottery here, um, it's pit fired. It's something I was doing for a while uh, when I had a workspace that would let me 
do pit fired pottery. And since I can't do pit fired pottery today or any other kind of pottery, I choose to do paintings of pottery and, and these these drawings uh are of of what these designs are or used to be, you know, pots that that were made by, by Cherokee or other tribes in the area. Um so this is a mess. There's there's my little group of all pastels. Uh, these is pastels left over from when I was, was doing some pastel work. Uh, we'll get back to that probably before we're done, but right now we're doing some all pastel and uh, so we gotta just hold the camera up overhead and I can't see and, and work at the same time. Monitor, look through the monitor. What I was gonna show you to start with is is that uh, um, when you get flooding, I call these, I got my own shop talk, the flooding of, of uh, the watercolor over the old pastel. I want the old pastel to show up as, as well as possible, so this, this knife just has a nice rounded edge, so it works really well for scraping the watercolor off. So, uh, cleans it up a little bit, and also, uh, we'll go back over this numerous times, uh, with various colors of oil pastel to really thicken and enrich these, these lines, so, that's what that does, well, let's see, uh, Think, no, no, I I, uh, I use this old piece for for my first initial um, marks of, of orange, and it's a really old piece of pastel. It might be like old pastel. It might be like 50 years old or something. Here's here's a just broke this one out today. Nice brand new yellow. I go through a lot of yellow. White. Uh, I, I like. You know, I go over these these marks a lot with white while I'm finishing them up. Uh, and uh, you know, here's here's an orange that. Uh, it's, it's, it's a little near piece of orange. Uh, people like to give me my art materials from their, you know, their parents' estate or whatever. And so I get all this old uh, pastel, old pastel and other stuff that it gets all dried up and stiff and a little bit hard. Sometimes it's a little hard to work with, uh, which is kind of interesting. But watercolor and, and oil pastel are both really messy, sloppy. This is like a terrible choice of media to be doing this kind of work. Uh, and, and I'll just go ahead and get even more sloppy in my, my approach. But uh, I'd say that oil pastel is like trying to draw a line with a with a stick of butter. I mean, it just like goes all over the place. So one of the things I do is, is I lean and, and push the old pastel like this, and that gives me a little bit more control. And you know, I still can't see what's happening underneath because my hand is blocking. So I, I don't know for sure if we're doing anything until I pull my hand away. But we just like work blind so I'm gonna I'm gonna do some work and then come back into the video after I've completed this one okay I gotta turn the music off I gotta turn the music off but leave the music on YouTube they they gonna like 
That's my video because it's copyright, man. I, you know, I always want to do these videos, streaming videos where, where like, you know, the music's in the background so you, you get to know what kind of music I'm listening to while I'm working because I love to listen to music, man. It's like, you know, working and making me playing music and here's like what just happened. So I'm a uh, my nice shot of my collection. This is this is iridescent old pastel. It's, it's like he mean now the autofocus is gonna find it. Well maybe not, whatever. And then here's my nice collection of a whole bunch of old pastels. Uh, oh yeah, we got the lid right here. Uh, 48 colors, man, 48 colors, and I'm looking at it like, this is a ter man, it's like, the colors I want ain't in here, I don't know what happened, you know, it's like, when I first opened it up, I'm like, oh man, look at all these colors, and then look at this color right here, can you see this, man, yeah, well, there's a good background, well, anyway, I got this color right here. I marked some right here. And I got this other color. It's like somewhere in here. This color. It's this color. The color there. And then this color here. You know, they call it flesh color. It's, it's like. If I want to do portraits of white people, you know, I got two sticks of it in this, it's like, yes, okay, ran over, hey, this is what happens with the fact that this camera won't focus on whatever's going on, come on, y'all, I did the iridescent in this part right here, I don't know if you can see the shiny stuff, man, it's like, so. It is never going to show up. Whatever, it's in there. And then here's, there's like some pencil marks. I did some hatch marks on my pottery, which it's kind of like, if you don't move, this camera will eventually. This camera is not really, I don't think it's like designed to do video of my artwork. Anyway. We got like bands and bands and bands of colors on top of colors that you can't see because this camera doesn't want to show. But hey, that's, um, that's what I'm working with. These are the media materials, cameras I have to work with. So this is my reality right now. So that's. How it all ended up. You can kind of see the lines now. Banded pot. Nice, nice job. All right. That's what the artwork looks like when it's finished, kind of, I guess, you know.